Okay, what we're going to do here, uh, I'm going to go through how to set up a, uh, a SPDIF effects loop with the Focusrite Scarlet 18i20, uh, although I imagine this will work with any of the uh, Scarlet series with SPDIF in and out. Um, anyway, first of all, set the main output to zero and your headphones down to zero because there's the potential for a feedback loop here, which you gotta be really careful of. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, having connected the ins and outs of the, the cabling, the SPDIF cables, come down here to SPDIF outputs one and two. All right, we're gonna need to make sure that this SPDIF input shows on the hardware inputs. That'll, adding it here will add it to everything. Um, as well adding any of the inputs. It always adds it to everything across the board. Then you have to mute it. Make sure that that's muted. If this is not muted, then you're gonna have a feedback loop and you're gonna get a screaming high pitch tone that's just very unpleasant. Um, okay, so that's that. Then come back here to in this case, I want it for my headphones for tracking vocals. I want to be able to throw a little bit of reverb in there, latency free, and be able to tweak the parameters right here at my fingertips. So I'm going to bring this in here. I have the SPDIF muted. Here's my microphone, channel 5. When I unmute SPDIF, it's going to add reverb. Now I'm hearing it now in my headphones, but probably I am not recording the reverb because the, re the QuickTime screen recording is taken off of the outputs one and two, I believe. So here you see SPDIF one, two here is muted. If I unmute this, the reverb should go onto the recording so I guess I'll see when I play this back, but that's how it, it, you should be hearing reverb on my voice right now. Okay, so I'm gonna mute that again. Uh, if I have a, like a student here in the, in the studio and I, I wanna use it on a, say an SM58 practicing performance of something, then I'll probably wanna unmute this. Um, you can get more or less of the effect just by using this uh, slider here um, on any of the outputs. Um, in this case, going back to my headphone, uh, you know, I don't want to be hit over the head with reverb, but I, I can, you know, dial it into taste right here. So that's really about it. Just the most important thing is make sure here on your SPDIF out that that SPDIF input is muted before you do anything else. Okay, happy recording.